بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وبعد after these seven reasons which are more than sufficient for any believer we continue to encourage ourselves with even more reasons that have come to us from the book and the sunnah and this time from the statement of a great early imam in Islam that which is reported from the speech of Ali ibn Abi Talib radiyallahu anhu وعن سائر الصحابة أجمعين. and that is what helps us understand in comparison to wealth and materialistic gain how much more superior Islamic knowledge is. For how many times do we hear people say, "I can't attend the classes because I'm working, because I'm selling, because I'm out there seeking my provisions and so on"? Think, dear brothers, prioritize that which is a priority. Listen to the statement of Ali ibn Abi Talib radiyallahu anhu. He said, Al-ilmu khayrun min al-mal. Islamic knowledge is better than wealth. Li'anna al-mala tahrusuhu. Because wealth is something you have to keep track of and protect. Wal-ilmu yahrusuka. But knowledge protects you. Wal-malu tufnihi al-nafaqa. Wealth is gone after you spend it. Once you use it, it's gone. But knowledge is increased every time you use it. Knowledge is something that puts rulings on other things. And wealth is that which is ruled upon. Hoarders of wealth, they have passed away while they're still walking. They have passed away like dead people walking about the earth. And the scholars, the possessors of knowledge, they remain alive so long as time goes on. Meaning their effects are found and their benefits are found even after their physical death. They are as individuals, as personalities lost. We've lost them, they've passed away. But their remaining benefits stay behind in the hearts of the people. Look at the bounty of Islamic knowledge. Look at the status of it. Don't compare it to wealth. There is no comparison, subhanAllah. Look at this beautiful statement from Al Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib, radiyallahu anhu, wa an al a'imma al khulafa al rashidina ajma'in. This narration was collected by Ibn Abdul Barr in his Jami'u Bayan al Ilmi wa Fadl.